Hi guys, this is Sam. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a Windows 10 recovery drive for advanced system protection. This video will help you to add boot files to a PC after applying a new Windows image. Repair the system partition and set up or repair the boot menu on a dual boot PC. And also, this video will help to fix XSE's deride problem while fixing BCD of a Windows 10 PC. So, let's get started. At first, you will need a USB flash drive and it must be at least 8GB of capacities and must be completely empty. Next, open the Windows Administrative Tools folder. Next, recovery drive. And click on Yes to run. Now click on Next and wait a few minutes until it's ready to create. And one more very important thing, your windows must be genuine and updated. Now select your USB flash drive and click on next. Read this warning message and click on create to continue. And don't close this pop-up windows until it's completed. It will take several hours depends on your USB drive speed. So I just skip this boring part of this video. Now it's about to be completed as you can see. Let me show you how you can fix your computer by using this recovery drive when your computer won't boot or won't go to desktop screen or especially when you encountered with Windows VCD related issues. Now just start your computer. Go to BIOS and boot from your created recovery drive. Now select your keyboard layout. Next troubleshoot. Next advanced options. Then command prompt. Now type boot sect for slash nt60 space sys and hit enter. As you can see, the message boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volumes. Now type disk part and hit enter. Next type list disk and hit enter. Now identify the disk number which is your boot disk. Here's mine boot disk number is 0. So I just type select disk 0 and hit enter. Now type list volume and hit enter. Now identify the volume number which is system recovery partition of your windows. Note the volume size will be in MB format and file system can be NTFS or FAT32 as you can see. Here's mine system volume number is 1. So, I just type select volume 1 and hit enter. Next, you will need to set a drive letter as a mount point and I will suggest you pick a drive letter between M and Z. So, I just type as in letter equals to Q colon and hit enter to continue. As you can see, the message disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Now type exit and then hit enter. Now type your assigned drive letter, give a colon and hit enter. Now type bcd boot space your system drive letter colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space your assigned drive letter colon space forward slash f space all. Note 
if your PC's boot mode is UFI, then type UFI. If your PC's boot mode is legacy, then type BIOS. If your PC's boot file supports either a UFI based or BIOS based computer, then type here all. And hit enter to continue. As you can see, the message boot file successfully created. Now just type exit and hit enter. Next, turn off your PC and remove the Windows security drive. As you can see that, dual boot menu is working properly. Hope you will like this video. If you have any questions then please let us know in the comment section. And guys don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.